Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Ashley. And today, I have a special guest. Her name is Rebecca. She's my Hi. baby cousin. I love her so much. <laughs> Do you want to tell them what yeah. we're going to be making? Well, we're going to make homemade mozzarella sticks, and it and it would it will be great. I I I just mean, but it would be awesome. Okay, so um, we have a normal block of cheese here. This is mozzarella cheese. You could also use like the store-bought string cheese, like in the packages. It will like make the whole process easier. But I like using this one because this is like the cheese when you get the mozzarella sticks when they pull apart and it's like ooey gooey, like goodness. Okay, so we're just gonna start off by cutting a certain thickness, like down. Okay, so right now you saw me start cutting the cheese. These are my pieces I made. So now Becca is gonna try on cutting her own slices of cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, just be careful, baby. Okay. Oh, geez. good job. Yes. Okay. And she's just gonna do that with the rest of the pieces. <laughs> Okay, okay, and now we're gonna pop these cheese sticks into the freezer for 30 minutes. And while these cheese sticks are cooling, we're gonna work on the breadcrumb mixture. Okay, so right here we have our um, mixtures ready to go. We have our flour, just a little bit, not a certain amount. We have three eggs cracked, I just mix, um, mix them a little bit. And I put a little bit of half and half where you can use milk. And now Becca's gonna work on the breadcrumb mixture. So That's she's just gonna pour a little bit of plain breadcrumbs in there, in the bowl, just a little bit. I'll tell you when to stop. You can pour a little more. Uh, um, that's good, for now. Okay. And then you're gonna sprinkle some salt in there. I'll tell you when to stop. That's good. It looks like a lot, but you know, salt shakers don't come out that fast. You're gonna sprinkle a little pepper. You can go like this. I know, I, I want to make sure. <laughs> Sprinkle in whole grain oregano. This is just adding more flavor to the breadcrumb mixture. How much is a grain? That's good. Okay. <laughs> that's a grain. And then some garlic salt. Be careful, just in case it comes out fast. I mean, that's good. <laughs> it does. And then we're going to put in some parsley. Okay. Is that enough? Yep. Yep. And then we're gonna do some bay leaves. Bay leaves. Well. Yep. The only thing I don't have is Italian seasoning right now, but that would be great in here too. That's good. And last but not least, you don't have to do this. This will make it a little spicy. Like Ooh. one pour. One pour. Like one pour. That's good. I don't like them that spicy. Just to add a little. I bit don't more even flavor. like spice. Okay, so yeah. I'm just gonna grab a fork. Yeah, mix it. I did. We're just right. gonna mix it a little bit. Ah! <laughs> uh. Okay, and that's it. So that when the mozzarella sticks come out, we are gonna put them in the flour, egg, breadcrumb, fryer, and repeat the process to the yep. rest of them. Yep. Okay, so our mozzarella sticks are almost done out of the freezer. So at this point, we're going to want to pour our oil in. You can use any oil, but right now we're going to use um, vegetable oil. Yeah, that's we're going to pour it in the pan, and then we're just going to heat it to like 350. And how you're going to test if your oil is ready is we're just going to take a pinch of flour and throw it in there. If it starts bubbling, then you know you're ready to fry. Okay, you want to pour? Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, My daddy's gonna be mad. <laughs> all of her oil. It does it, does it. We need a little more. Okay, a tiny bit more. It's gonna be worth it. Mm. Is it? There might be a lot of wasting. Yep. Okay, 350 you said? Nice. So. so we're back 
and this is my other cousin, Rachel. She was getting upset because she couldn't be in the video, but it's very hard food to make. It's okay. You're gonna help us, okay? So don't cry. Okay, baby? Okay, so, what's wrong? Hmm? Say hi! Hi! <laughs> okay, ready? So, what we're gonna do is, now, as you can tell, they're really frozen. So, mm -hmm. our first step, we're gonna dip them in the flour. Okay. And this is the only way this is gonna work. When you dip them in the flour, you're gonna have a wet hand and a dry hand. So, this is my dry hand, this is my wet hand. So, now, I'm putting it into the wet mixture. I'm gonna move it around with the fork. <laughs> or your hand, whatever. Ready? Then this goes into the dry mixture back with my dry hand because you don't want to get your hand sticky. Okay? So you're going to get this all with the breadcrumbs on it, all on there. Make sure it sticks. Okay? Okay. I got my wet hand. You don't actually have to wet it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? This one too. There's one done. All right, I'm gonna, no, I got one. So where does it go first? Here, yep. dry hand. Dry hand goes in the flour. Twirl it around. Twirl it around like a bad <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. That might be that. I'm okay. now getting egg. Going. Okay, now you're gonna put it in there and use your wet hand. Okay, now you're gonna put that into the dry mixture and use your dry hand. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, and we're just gonna repeat the process to all of the mozzarella sticks. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat the process one more time. After we put the bread, flour, egg, breadcrumb, now we're only gonna do egg breadcrumb. This is just to make like a really, really crispy crust on those like cheesy, delicious mozzarella sticks. Okay, yeah. Don't wanna get too high with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my boyfriend and he's just gonna fry. The oil might be a little too hot, so be careful. Because it's gonna bubble. They're just gonna be in here for a couple seconds to heat up the mozzarella sticks. Get the skin all crispy and delicious. They could stay in a little longer. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Alright, I hope the cheese melted because I think our oil's a little too hot. We're going to have to lower our oil so we can leave them in a little longer. Trust me, the cheese is melting. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to carefully place that down. Ah, let go. It's coming so out fun. pretty good. Leave them. You don't want to overcrowd your pan either. Just put maybe one or two at a time. Or if you're nervous, only one. I'm not nervous. Okay, that's good. Why does it smell like fish sticks? Oh no, but they're good. Ooh. Okay, and now that we finished our mozzarella sticks, we, me and my sister is going to taste test it and see how good it is. Okay, Rachel? Ready. Okay. Dip it in the sauce. I don't want to dip it in the sauce. See the mm. ooey gooey cheese, the deliciousness. Mmm. <laughs> okay guys, make sure you guys like, comment down below, and definitely subscribe. And make sure you comment down below if you want to see these two in another video. So thank you. <laughs>